Hello again YouTube and another fine video brought to you by Miami Mods. Okay, um now now the heart of the matter. This is the this is the whole point of putting together a rig. This is where it all the magic begins. Your motherboard, your CPU, and your memory. Everything else is secondary, it connects to this. So um I basically decided um, I was just going to do this off camera, but I figured, what the heck, if I'm going to do it, why not tape it while I'm doing it, and if anyone can learn from, you know, what I'm doing here, great. Um, also, I noticed there's um, a bunch There's a bunch of installation videos for the Coolmaster V8. I, I subscribed to a few people who have done some, they're very good, uh, but there's been some minor updates, so I figured, why not do a little bit of an updated install. Because this V8 is is not one of the easiest coolers to install, and uh, yes, I know there are probably better coolers out there, but honestly, I just love, 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 happy, happy, joy, joy the look of the V8, and I just thought it would look so great in my build. Um, I just couldn't resist myself, but I knew going in the caveat to that was going to be a little bit harder to install all that. So real quick. This is what comes in the bag, the box of the V8. And you have here, there's extra stuff left over that uh, I'm not gonna use, the thermal paste. I got a Arctic Silver 5 here, which is pretty much, you know, considered one of, or if not the best thermal paste out there. So, figured everyone said it was good, I get it. Uh, you bring like a little Allen key. Uh, I guess so you can get these off in case you wanna replace the fan or whatever later on uh, you bring some little rubber pads so you can see them a little sticky uh, those are for the AMD if you're using an AMD chipset you would use those and uh, finally um, a little like a little nut tool to drive in the nuts <laughs> nuts uh, but I have, a, I have a nut driver so I really don't need it but it's nice to have if you don't have a nut driver and of course, the instruction manual, you know, and warranty, whatever. Okay, um, I just wanted to do real quick here. I think it's just funny when you uh, consider that this cooler, compared to the stock one, <laughs> is literally uh, like night and day. <laughs> the stock cooler is just like, <laughs> it's super, super tiny compared to it. So we should be getting some really good temps when I attempt to overclock it, which, you know, I'm going to, of course. And again, I'm going to say this, if you're going to go for a pure, pure overclocking and you really don't care so much about the aesthetics and the look, there are probably much better coolers out there. All right, so first off, Turn this baby upside down. Obviously, it's gonna be mounted like this. Okay. So, turn this baby upside down here. And uh, first off, you're gonna have to put these little brackets on. And now this is where the update came in. Before, before you had to actually screw these on like counterclockwise, you know. And uh, before you screwed it onto this, and you would use those little rubber things. But now, let's see, I hope you can see this. It comes with a little, uh, I'm hoping this is focusing, like little spring loaded, little springs here. I think that do, I guess, the same job as the rubber, or probably better. That's for like vibration, because you know, the fan and stuff. So, uh, so, and also it makes it a lot easier. Now you know how it has to go and stuff. So, again, this is the update, so I figured I'd bring it out. Yay! It's gonna go right here. Okay. Uh, you have these little screws provided right here. Let me get my little screws screwdriver. Okay. Nothing major. Again, I would warn against over tightening, tightening these. I'm pretty sure if you do it too tight, you could theoretically crack 
and that would be bad. That would be very bad to crack to crack the little metal underneath. But you notice I'm not removing this plastic yet because I have little greasy fingers, so. Figure let's not take any chances. Okay. Now I'm just gonna tighten them. Just hand tight, you know. Just put a tiny bit of torque. Make sure they're tight and that should be good. I recommend actually doing it with this type of screwdriver just for a simple fact that I could have probably done it with my driver here, but you know, being as it's so small, it kind of, you know, instills in you. And look, I'm paying, I'm talking so much, I'm not even looking at what I'm doing. Hey, hey, I put them upside down. There you go, you see? Y'all get to learn from my mistakes. That's the best learning experience right there. So in other words, when you're doing this, you know, you probably wouldn't want to be talking to YouTube. <laughs> Boy, talk about rookie mistake. Just call me the rookie from now on. Okay. That make me even look even rookier now. I'm still going to go. All right. So we do this all over again. And as I do this, I guess I'll talk a little bit here and just say, you know, hopefully my future videos, once this machine is done, I will be doing my transcoding of my videos and stuff on it. So I will be able to actually edit these. And you won't have to sit through all this jibber jabber of mine when I make mistakes. Yeah, basically, the rig I'm running now is like almost seven years old, and uh, when I got it at the time, I did use it for Transco video. At that time, you know, it took, you know, like two and a half hours to transcode an hour of video, and that was like super fast. Whereas now, it's like, you know, that's just a little too much. I'm getting too old to be sitting around waiting for that. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll definitely once I get this together we'll be definitely having much more better edited videos alright I'm gonna put that there for now and we're gonna move on to the motherboard okay um not to, to my own horn but I've been working with chips you know computers all my life basically and I am just amazed I had to say that I just had to say this that this is the most powerful chip we have now, more or less, you know, these Intels. And just look how small they are. I mean, I know I have big hands, you know, but I remember the chip being humongous. And they probably weren't even one thousandth as powerful as these are now. All right, enough talk. Okay, basically, you're going to swing this out here. I'm hoping y'all can see this. Right here is a little little latch here to latch it onto. Let's see if I do it this way. Y'all can see it better. Let me see if I can just zoom in a little bit better here. Okay. Okay, you see again, I'm gonna do one more time. Just make sure. Okay, push down to the right this all slides up and over important uh, I don't think I need to tell you guys it's important you take this out <laughs> before you uh, you take this out before you put your CPU in here all right and that's pretty much what it says there all right as they say this is live so Taking out the CPU. Alright. And 
Um, let me see where it's marked. I it's kind of not really readily apparent here whoa sorry this is okay here you go mini review of the board now all right if you can see here it's very it's kind of hard to make out but there's like a little white triangle there okay and that's pointing so you can line up your chip correctly we'll see that down the chip is much more apparent you can see right here I hope that's focusing it does not look focused from here but there is a little gold triangle right there in the corner all right that lines it up here and these chips will only go in one way so you know if you turned it this way or that it won't go in okay um I'm sorry here just being careful here just making sure all right I'm from the school of you know measure a hundred times cut once so again the reverse procedure you put the door down and then you just slide slide this down and over there you go installed I'm such a nervous Nelly at this part honestly I really hate this sometimes this part because uh, you know this, this is where you're gonna mess up you know, a lot of times this is it's gonna be here all right so now now I got y'all zoomed in here I'm gonna take your thermal paste and I got this straight from uh, the Arctic silver website that basically you want to draw is called the line method a line from here going to here down the middle okay I'm gonna do it here hopefully y'all can see alright of course this always being less is more you know better to put a little bit less than I think a little bit more Okay, I'll just hold it up so y'all can see the line. All right, now the fun part. This is the whole, here's the whole thing, putting on this cooler now. All right, first you're gonna have to line it up. Line it up with the holes. And put it through. And then, Arg. Turn it upside down. Okay. Then you get your back plate, which I'm gonna zoom back out again, because you're right. You're probably missing a lot of this. All right. You get to see my belly. Get in my belly. Hold on. That's why we have tripods. Again, live live YouTubing here. One take. <laughs> All right, get your back plate here. And if you notice here in the corners, it's got like a thermal thing. It also has in the back here. This is, you know, keep it cold, keep it warm, I guess, insulated. And also, if you notice in the notches, there's like three notches for holes. You want the middle notch. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Okay. Something about this I just don't like. Alright. Put on the nuts.
Okay. Now, like I said, I have a nut driver. But basically, you want to do it in a one, two, three, four pattern. You want to crisscross as you tighten it. And I'm just tightening it till it stops. Crisscross pattern. Hope you're all seeing this. The whole thing, a big caveat here of not over tightening is you can crack the motherboard. <laughs> I've known of it happening, so again, this is one better, less is more. Better leave it just a little bit loose than over tighten and crack your board. Tighten one. All right. And I believe there we have it. The motherboard doesn't look bent, which is good. Uh, okay. And uh, if you're wondering, I'm holding it by the cooler mask because, you know, if it's tight, it's supposed to hold from there. Okay. So, there we go, got the cooler on, and finally, the memory. These are G-Skill, 4 gigabyte each chip, so 8, eight gigs in total. Alright, um, in hindsight now, I probably should have done this before I put the cooler on. But say it'll be. Okay, uh, it's kind of worked out because I wanted to put them in the black slots anyway. So, okay. As you know, you have to do these in pairs, you know, to get the dual line. And uh, basically, as I read the motherboard instructions, you have to put them pretty much in. Um, match colored match colors like in other words you're gonna put two you put two in the red or two in the black they leave it up to you so I wanted the red to be exposed so I will take the black and again if you never installed chips have this little notch they can only pretty much go in one way so you know you're putting them in and you're seeing it's like it feels like it's stuck going in. It's because you probably have the notch the wrong way. And as they say, don't laugh. Been there, done that. And pretty much you just push down. Yeah, you just push it down usually until you click into place. I'll do the same here. Oops. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. You just push down to the clicks. Alright. And uh, there you go. Everything installed. CPU, cooler. CPU, CPU down here, core, memory chips on the motherboard. And next, I will be putting it in machine, and uh, I'll give you guys uh, another video of that when everything's back in. Thank you for your patience in watching this, and uh, have a great time.